Hey guys, this is Puchkov Development here, and in this iPhone SDK store, I'm gonna show you how to use the really cool feature from the iOS 4.2, the printing feature. And this tutorial is probably one of the first ones on YouTube and on the internet. So, watch it. Let's begin. Open up Xcode and create new Xcode project. Uh, iOS view based application for the iPhone. Choose. And I'm gonna call it print. And I'm gonna show you how to print this. We will we'll print this icon file. This uh, this icon file is from my from an update for my SDK tutorial CGD app for the I iPad. So this is a new icon. Pretty cool. I'm gonna show you how to print it. The PNG file. It's really simple. Open up classes. View controller You don't have. We don't have to import anything. Just add this code. UI print direction controller delegate. That's almost it. Uh, and uh, let's create the IB action. There's space IB action print. I'm gonna call it print and ID ID sender. Now, now build it, save all to warnings. We'll fix them later. Re go to resources, print view controller. Uh, open up library and inspector. The first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background color. I'm gonna change it to blue and I'm gonna drag in the round rect button. I'm gonna, we'll say print and I forgot one thing. Where did the file go? Ah, uh, here it is. I will import it into the project. I'm gonna copy it into the resources folder. Okay. And I'm gonna place our image here. Oh, it's too big, so. Image, I'm gonna use the image view. Media is the tutorial, CHD. like this so you can see what we're gonna print and um, text colors will be black it will be Helvetica ball bald now let's connect the actions let's connect the print action to the print button touch up inside we're done in the interface builder now go to go to print view controller dot m file and create the IB action print with the same name use the same name that you have created that you used in that H file. So in my case I've I have used print ID sender. Okay, now let's start coding. And a string space path space equal and as bundle main bundle path for resource and I'm gonna rename this file to sdk.png so it's easier to type to type in so sdk.png pass for a resource at quotes SDK of of type of type at quotes PNG 
Anna's data space my data space equal n s data data with contents of file path now let's create the UI interaction controller UI print interaction controller UI print interaction controller space I'm gonna call it pick space equal UI print direction controller shared print controller now let's create an if statement if pick and UI print interaction controller can print data my data pig dot delegate equals self UI print info space print info space equal UI print info space print info print info dot out but type space equal to UI print info info output general output general print info dot job name space path La last path component print the duplex UI print info duplex duplex long edge long edge pack that print info space equal print info pick dot shows page range yes pick dot printing printing item equals to my data And we're almost done now let's create the error void method in there void space completion handler UI print Traction controller space star comma boo bool comma n s r space space star equal to UI print interaction controller space star pick comma bool completed
comma ns error error and if completed if I mean not completed and error NS log at quotes error so if we get an error you will get an NS log in the debugger NS log will say error now let's add the last line of code pick Present present animated yes completion handler completion handler and now let's run three errors mm-hmm so build succeeded installing print the simulator and you will need iOS 4.2 uh, to print let's click print it is not showing our image what's, what's wrong I'm gonna add this oh that's because we have renamed it So I'm going to add the image view again. Doom. It's the key towards. So it should display our image now. Build and run. And I'm it's going to build. Okay, here. If we click print, select printer and send to Mac or my printer. So I'm gonna launch the printer simulator so I can simulate everything. And uh, to print uh, wirelessly, you need to you need to have AirPrint supported supported printer. It is uh, there are not a lot of printers that support the AirPrint. So the best uh, application. Uh, to make your print printer work when connected to the MacBook, to make it work with the AirPrint function is a Printopia. It is here, Printopia. Printopia. Here it is. The link to this app will be in the description. It is a really awesome app. Here it is. Select printers. It will enabled just really simple and it's just ten dollars so great deal so now let's like the printer S so you can select simulators simulated printers mm -hmm. Sim I'm gonna select simulated simulated in jet and number of copies let's select five printing So here it is, our image. Yay, we have printed it. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.